All right, this is fourth grade, module three, lesson 33. And in this lesson, students are gonna be connecting the area model to the standard algorithm for long division. And the purpose of doing this is we want division to be more meaningful to our students than just a, an algorithm, a rule that they follow. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. We want division to be more meaningful, and the area model is one way to attempt to do that. So I'm going to quickly show you one example of how we would use the area model to represent uh, division. So we've got 438 divided by 5, and the idea is we know that that represents a rectangle, and the rectangle has a height of 5, and we don't exactly know the width, the length, um, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave it right there. And so then we're going to look, and the, the area is 438 units, square units, right? And so what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, how, let's see, 5 times what will get us close, uh, let's just look at the 400s, uh, get us close to 400. And really, we're going to think of this as 43 tens, because um, if we're just thinking about four, as in four hundreds, well, you can't do five times something to get four in this context. So we're going to think of this as 43 tens, and we can think of this as uh, five times what gets us close to 43 tens, and that would be eight tens. So we could say, oh, that's eight tens, and that gives us an area of 40 uh, tens, and so now we've got three tens left over because we had 43 and 38. So now we're going to extend this because now we know that this is going to be 38, 38 units, right, because we've used four tens over, I mean, 40 tens over here. So now we have 38 units. So if the height is 5, what is the length for us to get to be something close to 38 square units? Oh, it's going to be 7 ones or units. And that gives us 35. That means we've used up 35 in here, and we have three little units left over. So there is our answer. So our answer is 8 tens plus 7 ones, so that's 87, and we have a remainder of 3. Now another way that we could show this is we can draw the beginnings of our rectangle. And we could think of it in, in terms of hundreds instead of, you know, I thought of it in terms of tens, right? So we could think of this as four hundreds. So if we have four hundreds, we know that 80 times 5 gives us 400. And that we know through subtraction that we have 38 left over, and then we know that 5 times 7 is 35, so that actually makes this 35, not 38, and then we have 1, 2, 3 little square units left over. So that's another way of showing that the answer is 87 remainder 3. So this, two examples of how we could use the area model to represent division. So what we're now looking at is the finished work, and we can see that the answer is 457. Uh, so the question is, well, what was the division problem? Well, we definitely know it was divide by 4 because it says so right here. Now, if we want to know what's inside the house, we're just going to add up all of these numbers. So 1,600 plus 200 plus 28, that gives us 1,800. 28, and we know that our answer is 457. Now, we're supposed to show the number bond to represent this area model. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with 1,828, and we see that it got broken up into 1,600, 
228. And then we can use division. And we see that 1,600 divided by 4, 200 divided by 4, and 28 divided by 4 is our next steps. And that gives us 400, 50, and 7. And we got those numbers from up here, 457. So that's how we would represent uh, this division using a number bond. So we're going to represent... 816 divided by 4 using the area model. So we know that the height of that rectangle is 4. And since we're going to start with that 800, so that means we know that 200 times 4 gives us 800. And that means we have 16 left over. Right here, 16 left over. In fact, I want to do that in, in blue. So I'm going to change that, and we have 1600, uh, 16 left over, so that means the, the width is 4, and so our answer is 204. Now, down here it says we're supposed to draw a number bond to represent that, so we're going to take our 816, and we're going to divide it up, or split it up, into 816, and then here we've got 800 divided by 4, and here we've got 16 divided by 4, which gives us 204, and there's our number bond. And the last problem for this video, uh, we're going to draw the area model for a big problem. It says 2,762 divided by 2. So we're going to start with 1,000, because that's going to give us our 2,000. And what do we have left over? Left over, we have 762. Um, but what we can do is we know that, let's see, if we have 762, right? So we know 300 can go right here. And that's going to use up 600. Right, so I'm going to get a, keep a running tally. So first we had 2,762. 2, we just used up 2,000, so that gives us 762. And then from the 762, I just used up 600. So now I have 162 left over. So in here is 162, but I can use 80 because that'll use up 160. So now I've got this, and I'm going to do 162, and I've just used up 160 of them. So I have two left over. So that means this little sliver right here is two, which means it's a width of one. So, oh my goodness. So what is my final answer? I would just add up all of these, and I would get one Oh, let's do it in red. Um, I get 1,381 as our answer. So what would the number bond look like? Well, the number bond is that classic, uh, let's see, classic thing. So we got 2762. So we've got 2762. And we broke it up into 2,000, and then we broke it up into 600, then we broke it up into 160, then we broke it up into 2. So our number bond is going to be 2,000 divided by 2, 600 divided by 2, 160 divided by 2, and 2 divided by 2. So that's our 1,000, uh, oops, 300. 80, and 1. Now, using long division, parents and teachers, I'm going to let you show the long division because this is the standard long division that we've been doing since the 1950s. And that wraps up 4th grade, Module 3, Lesson 33, Connecting the Area Model to the Standard Division Algorithm.